Hello friends, 907 days of war and I'm making video sitting directly in front of you, not using any background videos. In southern war zone, by large no changes, both in Kharso and Zaporizhia front. Coming to east on Marinka, Russians made gains almost 200 meters towards Zarzivka, that is in the western side and same side towards Parasko Vivika, rather in southern side, 100 meters and another 100 meters on the outskirts of Konstantinivka. More importantly, they advanced towards Ugledar Konstantinivka Highway towards Vodyani because once they cross this highway and reach Vodyani, the logistic support between the two localities will be lost, especially for the Ugledar. Coming to Avdivka, Russians have made good gains. They have captured many localities like seized them. Zelana or Livka, Niko, Levka and Zuravka. Also adjacent to it after having taken over fully, rather Ukrainians withdrew it from Novozelania and from there they advanced towards Zavitane having taken full control of this establishment. In addition, they advanced 200 meters southeast of Gordivka, another 200 meters towards south of Novoselivka first. Information says that probably Russians have taken it over, but still I am not sure. 100 meters in Karlivka, 300 meters towards not 300, but 600 meters towards Maikulevka, including 50% of the villas. While in Toresk direction, 200 meters, they advanced west of Zalizny, 300 meters west of Toresk, and 100 meters towards Panteli Mivka. 100 meters in west and 300 meters in the center of New York. As far as Chasiv Bakhmut is concerned, 100 meters north of Kalinova, no other changes as far as Bakhmut or Chasiv Yar are concerned. Coming further north towards Sivest direction, no changes and similar situation by Las, northeast Ukraine towards Serebriansky, Forestry, Liman and Krimina direction. Kupyansk Swato direction, Russians have re-entered. Northern part of Makhivka, and their offensive operation continues towards Pishanoe, making some small gains. North of Kharkov's Slobozansky directions, severe fight going on in both the sectors, that is Volchansk as well as Lipsty directions. No ma major or even small changes. Now coming to Kursk. This front seems to be stabilizing slowly as Ukrainians have incurred quite a lot of losses. Plus their logistic line is stressed beyond certain extent where they have tactical problems. And also Russians have been able to rush their reserves and their air and artillery etc. working throughout the day as well as night. However, Ukrainian chief of army staff claims that they are still moving almost two kilometers, rather strengthening their position two kilometers away from whatever they hold. Well, that is to be seen. That, that was my observation. Let us give due to Ukrainian chief and let us see how it moves forward in future. However, now some bits and pieces like in Glush, Kiev district, no changes. Russians are holding ground in Tekino and Ukrainians try to enter Otruba on right bank of Simi River, however, no gains for them. Towards Karinuo district, fresh fight is on on the approaches. However, Russians were able to take over, retake back Krupti, Krupets, not Krupti, Krupets. Sudza district, Ukrainians are evacuating, it seems, 
their own soldiers who are wounded and russian pows as well as other hostages away from this area especially from western sudza district severe fight is continuing on the approaches of martinivka and south of crimea as far as below district is concerned fight is on in the settlement of hiri and ozerivka and it also seems that ukrainians have started building their bunkers and consolidating positions like in ruskoya poris peris poriskne so this is by and large the situation of the war zone as far interdiction missions are concerned it is quite high from both the sides and hence war of attrition who is pretty high and ukrainians must be trying to recover whatever they have gained but losses also in kursk reasons and the onslaught of russian forces in the east especially in odivka and toresk front is almost combined 3 km a day per day as far as palestine israel middle east concerned no significant changes friends so i am not going to get into detail of that and i bring an end to my talk today thank you see you tomorrow